I bet you know this feeling. You really, really want to take your light tank out for a spin and you cannot really bring yourself to hit this battle button because you would really want to get onto a map like Prokhorovka or Malinovka to get that awesome 6k spotting damage game in. But then again, you're afraid you might get Runeberg, Ensk or Himmelsdorf and completely screw up, be unable to spot anything and just be a burden to your team. And you cannot bring yourself to hit that battle button. Then finally you hit it. And those few anxious seconds you spend in the matchmaker until... And hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. But next time, instead of choosing the coward's way out, you will be able to stand your ground, fight, and achieve these kind of results. To find out how, stick around. So let's start out by analysing why light tanks usually suck on city maps. Well, first of all, the kind of traditional role of a light tank obviously is that of a scout but you cannot really scout effectively on a city map because there aren't any bushes and there are houses and corners blocking your vision all the time so uh, I make a bit of a donkey move there but thankfully that T-34-3 helps me so scouting doesn't work but scouting isn't that important anymore nowadays as it used to be for light tanks in World of Tanks the role of light tanks has shifted from that of a scout to that of a late game damage monster and that is very important for you to realise because these guns of say the tier 8 light tanks are so capable that come the late game you can really do brutal damage with them but the important thing to and the key to playing a light tank effectively on any map and on city maps especially is conserving your health and playing safe in the early game so that you have enough health and um, intact modules left in the late game that you can use your speed and decent gun to clean up at the end. Now what other problems do we have as a light tank on a city map? Well we cannot really do circling maneuvers because say on a map like Himmelsdorf the streets are so narrow that if we try to carousel an enemy tank then they will just back up against a wall and completely counter our car carousel maneuver. So that won't work either. And how do we work around that? Well we try to keep our enemies at a distance and try to sneak up from behind them while they are engaging our allied, say, heavy tanks as um, the enemies are doing up there on the hill right now. And what I'm doing here is I'm playing very, very safely because I know that my only chance to succeed on this map here really is to wait for the moment when I can sneak round to the rear of my enemies and uh, try to unload my clip into the rear of their tanks and until then I just have to play really safe and that's why I was kind of doing support uh, having a support role from that corner right there however now I decide it's the moment to go in why did I decide that? I'll just quickly pause the game here I decided it because um, up till just a few seconds ago the charioteer and the IS-3 were located down here at this corner but now I saw that they pushed up through here and are trying to flank round to take my allies in the rear. Now I had two choices here, either I could have gone up here and tried to stop them or I can kind of mirror their move and go round and take these guys in the rear. So why did I decide to um, go for the latter option? Well the reason is that if I had gone up here to take on a charioteer and an IS-3, that's basically two tier 8 tanks that are very capable, the IS-3 is in full health, I'm not quite sure about the charioteer right now, but basically I wouldn't have been able to carousel the IS-3, he would have just backed against the wall and they would have demolished me. So these tanks up here in the northwestern corner have a lot better chance of stopping the IS-3 and the charioteer than I do. 
I am a lot more useful if I go around the back and try to empty my clip into these enemies on the hill. So that's exactly what I'm planning to do right now. And that is the most essential part really of playing a light tank on a city map is understanding when the open, like seeing the opening when it comes, you know. And this was the opening for me because usually this road here is guarded by enemies camping the corner on this uh, 8 and 7 line but because the charioteer and IS3 moved on I could progress along here and uh, frankly obviously this is a big advantage for IS3 um, excuse me for the AMX 1390 over other tier 8 light tanks because it's just got this clip and look at what I'm going to do to this per per 20 T29 now um, you could say that the AMX 1390s have an advantage here and other tier 8 light tanks wouldn't have been able to do this but I'd like to keep um, to remind you that actually an auto loading light tank has an even harder time on a city map in my opinion uh, than a normal light tank the reason being that uh, at least with a normal light tank uh, you can take a shot and retreat behind a corner which is a pretty effective playstyle on a city map with an autoloader really an autoloader is intended to stand out there and empty its entire clip but you cannot really do that because as soon as you fire the first shot you will take a shot again from the enemy and then the enemy will retreat behind the corner not allowing you to utilize your entire clip and that's why in my opinion autoloaders have an even harder time on city maps compared to normal light tanks so Right there, I basically allowed my team to take the hill up there, and as you could see, <coughs> my team also managed to successfully deal with a chariot here and IS3 in the northeastern corner. And now, this basically is the perfect kind of scenario for a tier 8 light tank like the AMX 1390 just mop up the leftovers of the enemy team, take two shots at the rear of that T44, and again, you can see that I Although it is this late stage of the game, I do not try to take on my opponents front on because they outmatch me in armor and firepower. Instead, I decide to go round the rear of this T-54 and um, hopefully get some damage in that way. So let's see if we still make it. There are all my allies are coming in, swooping down to take this T-54 down. But it looks like we're here in time for one shot two shots three shots can we finish them off no we can't what a shame but anyway I hope this game kind of showed uh, how you can actually make pretty effective use of your light tank on the map like Himmelsdorf which is usually considered to be one of the worst maps for LTs in the game and uh, the key basically is playing safe at the beginning but then going completely ham as soon as you see your opening go for it grab that opportunity and try to outflank your enemies and take them in the rear so let's have a quick look at the post game stats and um, then that will be it for today so we were able to pick up just shy of 3000 hit points of damage two frags and just under 1000 experience coming in top of our team in damage as well as experience we fired 17 shots 14 hits and um also we did maybe two shots probably from long range those of us those supporting shots so right there you can see that you're not very effective with a light tank usually when taking the supporting role the reason being because light tank guns aren't all that accurate and also don't have the best penetration so usually this kind of role could be performed a lot better by a medium tank or a tank destroyer but it's just the kind of thing you have to do in order to survive to the late game to be able to completely capitalize on your strength which is close quarters nimble fast agile combat against heavier slower enemies last of all one thing i want to point out is that we only picked up 44 assistance damage so that means we didn't spot at all in this game and that is one of the big misconceptions about light tanks that you need to delete in your brain if you want to succeed nowadays in the current meta in world of tanks with your light tanks because light tanks are no longer scouts the maps have changed 
so that uh, scouting basically in its classic capacity is no longer effective and in order to use your light tanks so that you make a lot of credits and experience and also help your team win you need to play them as a flanker and survive to the late game to be able to put that brutal dpm that you do get in most of your high tier light tanks to good use so that was it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and uh, learned something about how to use light tanks and maybe next time when you get on himmelsdorf in your amx 1390 you will not despair but you will grit your teeth fight and stick it to those enemies hey so thanks for watching as usual i hope you have a wonderful day and weekend and i'll see you next time or maybe even on the battlefield goodbye